So, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to run the uh, input data through MagicQ, where you have the whole universe is fully outputting. So, when uh, on my other system, I will run, say, pixel mapping, you're going to see it running th uh, entirely um, mapped on your fixtures. So, it's bypassing your control. So, it's, it's going from external source. Okay. Um, but uh, what I wanted to show you is is how to do the partial input, and so in this ver in this tutorial I'll show you the partial like input and the, uh, and a couple of other options, and then I'll do a separate tutorial where I'm going to show you how to run the Resolume through MagicQ. Okay, so how to run the the input um, partially? So to run entirely on the whole universe, I was running through the DMX test, and that is in setup. DMX input output uh, and this is the option that I had if you use input then it's going to be bypassing all the controls so I'm going to switch it on to none okay so from external uh, console magic in my case I'm running universes 12 13 14 15 like those four universes um, into my console and it then sends it out as universe 0, 1, 2, and 3, 4. And like on the previous, in the previous uh, tutorial, I explained that um, the universes should not clash, otherwise it's not going to work. So if you use 0 to 11 universes for out, then use 12 and further and, uh, and upwards universes for in, to get the controls in. So, so what we are trying to do is we're trying to run as a partial input. So where the partial input is. So if you open the patch menu, and most of you probably use this menu like a lot of times, but you probably have asked yourself a question. So what's this option here called merge? So basically what merge option here allows you to do is, it actually allows you to merge per fixture, data per fixture, or if you want to go per channel, which we're going to look at in the next tutorial with the Resolume, then we'll be able to do merging per channel. So basically we can map it here c completely as what channels you want to the run the data through, which channels you want to merge them, which channels you want to make it over, etc. So, um, okay, so the option I wanted to show you is, so in the patch menu where you said view heads, we have exactly the same show files, so we're running exactly the same thing. So now if I run something on external console, like I'll, I'll raise the fader here, and I'll show you in the output window that it works. So on our main control system, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because we switched off the input option. So what you can do is this. So currently, all the data is coming through the system is actually equal to the same uh, the same fixtures on this universe so we're doing like the easy one but in some cases for example if you want to run the pixel map across uh, like only rgb values onto the fixture that has many other channels like we will do with the resolume then it will be slightly different but uh, in our case it's just a fixture to fixture so it's a direct swap so this is how we're going to do so if you want to say run the data that is the first fixture from external console sending and i want to sort of run it through my first head here all i have to do is double click the merge option and then choose in so as soon as i choose in i will be able uh, it shows you that it's taking the data that it currently receives on the universe one channel zero zero one and then if you zoom in, you will be able to see that it's changing the color exactly at the same time when the colors applied on the uh, on uh, on the bottom. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. It it applies exactly on the bottom um, uh, pixel mapper uh, in this on the second computer. So um, we can select it for example, and if you want, let's say the whole universe, say universe one. So what we can do is we can use the nice filtering system here. So we use the encoder A to select only universe one. We'll select the whole column. We'll click here and we say in. So now you can see now only the data on universe one applied and that's running through. 
So, um, yeah, and so on and so forth. So you can activate all universes and you're going to have the same thing as with the DMX test, but at the moment you can choose manually which fixes you want to apply this on and which fixes you do not want it to apply it on. Because in the DMX test window, it applies to through throughout the whole uh, universe. So let's switch this one off. Sorry, uh, we'll switch this one off and we'll make it normal. Okay, so what are the options here? I mean, I'm not going to go through every, every option here, but this is what you can do. So if you double click here, you have the uh, options here. So you have a norm, copy, in, over, merge, mult, and multiple, uh, and uh, multiple in. So at the moment, I'm just going to explain to you those four options. So normal is a normal, that means it's going to listen and work the same normal way. So, uh, the in option that we've used is exactly the running data through without you interrupting. So, that means even if I select this one, and for example that one to in, so you can see them being in, and now I'll go out and I'll press locate, you can see that those two units have not been affected because they are running data through, so it's bypassing the programmer and the playbacks. So let's look again. We go to the patch window. We select those and then we open option again and we have the option is copy. The copy is useful when you're trying to run the data uh, from say within the same desk. Say for example, every time you run a dimmer, a dimmer channel uh, 3 on the universe 2, you want at the same time uh, fixtures to be active. Like for example, um, if I will uh, make them no, no, so what I can do is I can say uh, is the good example for dimmers for generics. So what it means is you will be able to uh, s like sort of uh, copy the data that you're outputting onto the one fixture. You can actually uh, copy the same data onto the second fixture. So that means uh, they will be working. They will be doing the same things. Um, you can I also use the option called over. So when you select over, this is how it works. So if I put the data down, yeah, and I will select my head number one, so I can say one at at, I selected, press locate, and I selected, made it like open white. So when I run the playback on the from outside, your main console currently overtakes all the controls from here. So if I press clear, you will be able to see that it listens to the external source as per usual. But now, if you would like to overtake it, for example, if you're running two consoles, so the support act is running all the show, and now you want to overtake it quickly from, from his control, uh, then you can run it in the over mode. So in overtake mode, if I press like it now, so now I have full control over the fixtures. So I can actually press the any channel I want and that will be my control, not the controls that's coming over from external source. So if I open, I say view plan, you will be able to see that it sort of sends the data in, but my con um, I am completely ignoring it because I'm controlling it myself. So this is where you have your sort of higher priority on the console and this is called uh, over mode. And the last one I will show you here is the mode called merge. So when you have and the other option is merge. So if you want to do HTTP merge uh, that means it's going to uh, take control of the highest values that's coming from the uh, that's coming into the system. Then you can use the merge option. So for the HTTP merge, you have to use this. So that means whoever is going to send the highest information will take control of this. So that means if I select the lights on one system and if I set it to say red to be 20%, then uh, 
if my other system is sending less than 10%, then I cannot control the red channel uh, from, from, from that console. So whoever is going to send the highest value will be able to control. Again, um, the options you have, uh, I would say normal, it, this is just to uh, just normal so there's no changes in option that means to run the data through system the over that means it's uh, it's controlling um, uh, overtaking control so if you have the the external system send, sending the data in and then you want to overtake it at some point you can actually use that option and you have a merge option. This is for the HTP merge. So the, for the highest stakes precedence merge, you can use this option. For me, I mean, um, I've, I've just used it a couple of times uh, just for some of the examples. And I normally use either in or over mode. And check out some uh, in the manual. It also explains how, it w how to work with the multi and multi, uh, multi in. So, and uh, one of the options is actually the multi, I think it's multi, allows you to run uh, the controls of the say the when you're running when you have the RGB fixtures and you have the RGB controls coming from external source but you still want to control the dimming intensity of those RGB fixtures from a different channel then you can use the multi like multi option um, uh, from this menu again if you have any questions feel free to ask but otherwise check out the manual and uh, and uh, let us uh, show us some of the examples how you use the same thing in your own shows. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's a Camsys, uh, YouTube channel Camsys. Uh, we have a Instagram, we have a Facebook page, and also another YouTube channel called Camsys RUS, Camsys Rus. Uh, it's also um, full of my trainings. And yeah, hope you liked it. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much and bye.